Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is to go over some of the material for Behavioral Science 3010 Statistics for the Behavioral Sciences. In this, I'm going to be going over the pretest for Chapter 1, Introduction to Statistics. This is a five-question test that was available on Canvas. And um, while well, it's, it's graded, it's one that you can take over several times because it's a way of simply introducing you to the material for the uh, chapter. Anyhow, the five questions that were on the test started with this. First one, a sample is part of a larger uh, distribution, construct, statistic, or population? The answer is population. Um, a population is the entire group of people. A sample is a part of that group that you actually got data from. Essentially, if you have data, it's from a sample. Um, a distribution, that's answer A, that's true. You know, you can create distributions of variables, but a sample is not part of the distribution. A construct is an abstract thing that you're measuring, and those are important in research, but that's not a sample's not part of that. And a statistic, you can have a statistic about a sample, and you can have a parameter about a population, but the sample's not part of a statistic. So the answer to uh, this is D. A sample is part of a larger population. For number two, a bivariate analysis typically focuses on what? Two participants at a time, symmetrical distributions, the association of two variables, or a causal inference. The answer to this one is C, the association of two variables. Bivariate means by two variate variables. And you're looking at associations. Uh, this is typically contrasted with univariate, which means one variable at a time. Now, answer A, two participants at a time would be, you might say, a case study of two people. Um, but that wouldn't be a bivariate analysis. Symmetrical distributions, you know, they're nice to deal with, but that's that's not a bivariate analysis. That's just something else. And causal inference. It is true that causal inference involves a bivariate analysis, but there's much more to it than that. Bivariate analysis is only a part of causal inference, and most bivariate analyses are correlational and not causal. So anyhow, a bivariate analysis typically focuses on C, the association of two variables. Number three, inferential statistics are typically contrasted with blank statistics, and the choices are representative, hypothesized, descriptive, and null. The answer to this one is C, descriptive. Um, a representative statistic, uh, it's, it's, you can have representative samples where the sample stands in and accurately represents or tells you about the population, and that's a good thing. Uh, a hypothesized statistic, well, when we get into something called hypothesis testing, you will have hypothesized values uh, for population parameters, but that's that's a different thing that we're not dealing with. Um, and D, a null statistic is also part of hypothesis testing, um, but that's just a, a step in the process. Descriptive means you're actually saying what's immediately in front of you. I have this data from this sample, and this is their mean, this is their... Um, correlations, whatever. An inferential statistic is when you're trying to go past uh, or really beyond the sample that you have to talk about the population that they came from. So that's the most common difference. Descriptive for the immediate sample in front of you and inferential to talk about the population that the sample came from. All right, number four, which of the following is not a condition for causality? The choices are association, temporal precedence, representativeness, and the elimination of alternate explanations. The answer to this one is C, representativeness. Um, representativeness, again, means that, for instance, that your, the data from your sample is a good representation or stand-in or substitute um, for the population that it came from. And while that's a nice thing to have, it's not what affects causal implications or trying to figure out that X causes Y. Uh, the three things that you do have to have are association. There has to be a correlation. When the cause is present, the effect has to be at least more likely to occur. Um, there has to be temporal precedence. Causes come before effects. And in a strictly correlational study, that can be hard to establish. Uh, but an experiment is pretty easy to deal with. Or in what's called a cross-lag design, you can show it. And then D, the elimination of alternative of alternate explanations. That's a hard one to do, and that's one of the reasons that we like to do randomized experiments is because it makes it easier to rule out these differences. But anyhow, uh, representativeness is not a condition for causality. All right, and the last question in this five-question quiz is the respondent's gender is typically 
recorded as a blank variable. And the uh, choices are ordinal, interval, ratio, or nominal. The answer to this one is nominal. Nominal just means categories. Uh, nominal means name and gender, male or female, is a category. And so it's going to be nominal. Ordinal would say that you would be able to say that somebody has more of something or has precedence in something. Interval says you have set units that separate people by specified amounts. And ratio says you have all of that, plus you have a true zero point. And yeah, none of that's true. Gender is a nominal variable, uh, as is biological sex. And that's um, the five questions that we have in the first quiz. And stick around for the practice test also. Thanks.